Hey everyone, this is Clay here, and we're back in the first show already. We've already done the first show. Well, it's time for my turn, and wait, we've already done the second one. Wait. Oh yeah, I'm neutral, I don't play, I'm the person who's like normal. And I'm tech. What's the questions? And I'm phone. And today we're going to start off the third and final hub of the game. So we're going to put this key right here, and there we go, we actually open this door. So anyway, welcome to the stairwell. Your dungeon right there, you'll get a glitch. We won't do it. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to the third and final level of the game. That is a course. That is a water level, because it's blue. We won't be doing it until later. It's going to be course 11 spoilers. That's course 12. Spoilers. But this dude. Thanks to the power of the tower, it's like the room the castle. Please remember to get Mario to be able to do it. Here, let me tell you what he's saying about the castle. In the room with the mirror, so carefully the area is not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water tower, you can float it with a high jump without painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. Those are two hints. And this is a secret star. There's one more toad talking thing. Whoa. Two toad talking stars? Whoa. Yeah, and there's the second one. The third one is actually upstairs. Yeah. Same, we're going to the mirror room, which is this one. Yeah. Now then, you see that room list? That's actually the entrance to another course. So this, the, yeah, the upstairs area has variations of other courses. Now then, the mirror room looks like it has nothing. But did you listen to Toad very clearly? Lauren is not reflecting the mirror. I see course four right there, and whoa. That's right, this is another course. Of course is it? Course 10, Snowman's Land. Yeah, this is the the ice cold course within the Snowman's Land. And this course, unlike the other one, you cannot die in it. Wait, oh well, fly off the course. So anyway, it goes to Snowman's Big Head. Here we are, Snowman's, all that stuff. Oh, bully, your coins are in there, whoa. Oh, it's over here. So, where's the big snowman? Is that the big snowman? Yeah, that's the big snowman. Oh, gee, those things. We're coming up with do jump on them, I think. Wait, why are there shy guy faces? I'm the one who's neutral here. I don't know why they're shy guy faces. Even I don't know. So, yeah. I, we don't know why they're shy guy faces right there. We just don't know. Now we'll go to the top. And there's the stage snowman. Now then. You wanna listen very carefully to this penguin. We're gonna wait for him to get back. Come on, penguin. Wait, so tell us what's gonna happen. So when you get on, the snowman will try to blow you off. So we're gonna wait for him to get back to do a secret trick. What trick? What? What trick? I'll show you. Hey, who's there? Who's clutch climbing around me? Is this I said it's a snow fleet? Where is it? So you can take a little way. If he blows you off, you fall off. Now they're blowing you, you just jump in the penguin's head, or you need to follow him. If you fail, you have to blow him off and lose your hat. This is another course where you can we have a message that you actually get your head pulled in your hand. Yeah. Basically you use the warp nearby, then you can make it that's, and right there is the first star. Don't fall over this whole thing all over again. And there it is. There's the first star on Snowman's head. And there we go. Wow, 13. And with that, we're actually going to be going to this, that big painting. Alright, right then. Now, this is a new enemy. It looks like the same thing as one enemy before, but it looks a little bit different. It's a bit of a variation, though. Anyway. With number one. Now, the water is a water level, but the higher you jump, the higher the water level. So, yeah, bottom, very low, top, very high. Shocking arrow list. What dry world? Whoa. So, there's called squitters. These. So, basically, the main gimmick of this world is you need to raise the water level. So, wait. The main. So, it's like the game gimmick of the water temple, but it's less annoying. You bet. The water temple from Legend of Zelda: The Ocarina of Time is like more annoying than this course. It's one of the best water levels. Same so way, you just need the water, you just water level once, so you can just go here and 
Before we move on, we're going to be used to a new annoying enemy. Not those things. Not amps. Wow, so much damage making me like this enemy. Who is that? I don't know, but he can throw you. He's useful for one of the stars. But in other places, he's annoying. He can actually make you, like, go back to certain points. He's required to one of the stars. Or we do it a different way to avoid him. Yeah, fusion in that course. And it's more annoying, that course. In fact, Bones can do it, right? Yeah. These are shocking airlifts. I think I know what they're called shocking airlifts. There's an amp right there. So be careful. And if you fall off, you do the whole thing all over again. Yeah, you can't raise the wire level anymore, because, yeah, the next wire jewel gem thingy is to go above that. Oh, yeah, up on that platform is the bomb bomb for the cannon, which is that platform right there. Yeah, so be careful with the amp, because it's called shocking arrow lifts. Don't fall off or else you do it again. There's a fire spitter. That's what they're called, fire spitters. And the other person is called fire chomps. Dang it! I fell off. Well, if, at least I just hit the box. That's one thing for sure. Yeah, unfortunately you can't do the shortcuts. You have to do it the way you're supposed to. Let's try this again. Or we can just cheat. I don't think you can cheat. Well, I'll try. Yeah, you just do that. Anyway, fire shops replaced fire spitters in the DS version with their faces. No shocking arrows. Shocking! Intriguing. What's up there, anyway? Go up there. Hey, it's another starter. The final battle must be easy, right? Nope. Wait, why? That. That star right there, you need 50 stars. There's another star door coming up, but you need 70. Spoilers. So yeah, we're gonna defeat the final boss now. Yeah, here's a hint. Yeah, that's a hint for 100 coin stars. So yeah, good idea. Now then, this course, we have a strategy for getting 100 coins. But guess what it is? You wanna know what it is? We'll tell you what it is. It's Tall Tall Mountain. Scale the mountain. Same look in the course 12. Wow. This course real is all all the courses. This one has no gimmick of jumping in it. Wait. So wait. Yeah, there are a few courses. It's one of the only courses in court in this area where there's like no gimmick. Yeah. Course 10 really this is a really gimmick. The only thing is that thingy. Yeah, you just need to jump to the painting where it's not visible. Yeah. Spoilers, next course is the gimmick. Yeah, a few courses have a gimmick, other courses don't. Also, coming up is actually the only course that's not a painting. Well, there's one course that's not really a painting, but actually a painting. And why are you doing it that? That's a shortcut. Oh yeah, I'll show you what's down there. Down there is actually some stuff. And, you know, I'll, I'll go down there. Oh my goodness, Chuckya. What is that enemy right there? Oh yeah, this is a new enemy called the Chuckya. You just need to throw it, and you beat him. And, wait, why are you doing that? Oh yeah, look below you. Right here is location of Pick Bomb Bomb. Useful thingy, too early. That can is actually for that star on that mushroom thingy, I think. Well, why are you asking questions? You're the one who doesn't know. Why are you doing that? Wait, you actually got questions right. Good job, Tech. Thanks. And OMG, I almost got hit by that. Oh! That was pretty insane. Man, we're having some fun right there. OMG. That is like one of the most funniest moments ever. Yeah, four, three, yeah. Yeah, there's literally no way out except for if you jump like that. Yeah, there we go, we got it. But you have to lose the two points. Do not touch that monkey. He will steal your cap. Be careful. You can do it. 
Wait, he follows you like that. Oh, yeah, I see this log. It's a roll light on it. That's how you, you beat Star 4 in the other push, right? Yeah. Let's we'll see what's right here. Oh, yeah. Here, that's another way you can lose your hat. High winds coming up ahead. If it blows you off, you lose your hat. It's fine somewhere on this mountain. Yeah, it's called Tall Town Mountain. OMG, those are giant balls. And a Goomba! Yeah. Yeah, there are some enemies that are exclusive to some courses, others are in many other courses. Like, for example, those squitter thingies in Course 11 are exclusive to that course. Well, exclusive to another course. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of stars here that are probably like enemies. Oh, yeah, there's this little guy. A painting, and of course, that's another star. You know what that also is? What? What do you need to do to get 100 coin star? Oh, that's Switch of Course 5. We're getting a lot of spoilers in this course. <laughs> yeah. But the, the thing the thing we're going to slash the gimmick for 100 coin star for this course is actually going to be a little bit odd. But that'll be later on. Oh, yeah. This is our only guy in the course. Oh, yeah. That course. Star 1. It's called Skill the Mountain. You want to get this star. Yeah, the next one is also exclusive to that certain star. The other ones you can get them on your own. Wow. And welcome to this room. Whoa, is that painting? Now here's a gimmick. Let's go through here. Nothing! Okay, that's kind of odd. Wow, it's big right here. Wow, not that small, but. Whoa, that's big. That is big. That is big. I don't think we want to get into it. What the? Okay, if you are confused, let me tell you what's going on. You're bigger here, but smaller here. That is the gimmick of course 13. If you jump in there, you'll enter the course small. Enter here, you enter the course big. You want to enter the course big. This is called Tiny Huge Island. This is more of a reference to course 4, not course 4, World 4 in Super Mario Bros. 3. It's big and small. Yeah. This is really like, like, of course, of course, there's like, we're all for fingers, small, things like that. Yeah, yeah. So you're big, like everything's small. Again, normal. We're going here. That's where big land begins. Like right here. So then we need to put the fire and flower. What we need to do is actually punch these five fire and flowers. Oh yeah, when you get 100 coin star, you would really want to, um, not, I repeat, not get the star. Yeah, because you want the coins. See, so, yeah, just get the coins, don't get the star. And besides, we're going to the pipe, we do the whole thing all over again, right? Yeah. And you put all five corner flowers, there's only five. Yeah. And we put them all, there's the star. Wow, kind of nice for really a star like that. So yeah, this course is a rendition of the big island world for it, of course. And we'll turn our So yeah, they take it back. Wow. I like how like the good one is small, the other one's big. Yeah. Most of the paintings you can, yeah, some paint, and most of the paintings you can actually, um, tell where you're going to go to, if you're going, if you look at it. you notice that this one right here, because it's one of the enemies, you notice this, and this, and this, and this, wow, that's a big hallway. Wow, there's a sign right there. Spoilers, there's a hidden secret. This is actually a hidden secret they cannot complete for the production, for the production of this game. Wow. So what are we gonna do now? The video's almost over. Punch is painting. Wow. And yeah, we're literally done with this video. Wow, it's my first time playing for this project. Wait. We haven't done 100 points down for this course. And the third one. Well that's what we're gonna do. At the start of the next video. Good. So this is Fowen. This is Clay. And this is Tech, who is the question person. And next time, we'll do more courses starting with the 100 coin star and regular star. Or